If you've been applying to data analyst jobs nonstop and not landing any interviews, it's not just the job market, it might also be you. Now, I know that stings, but before you close this video and tell yourself I don't know what I'm talking about, let me hit you with a stat that will wake you up. About 75% of job applicants never hear back from employers, not even a rejection email, just pure silence. And here's what no one wants to admit. Most of those people are making the same three critical mistakes over and over again. Mistakes that instantly disqualify them before a human even looks at their application. And I used to be one of those people, delivering pizzas for eight bucks an hour, sending out application after application, and trying to become a data analyst myself. Wondering why nobody would even give me a shot. I had the certificates, I had the project, I thought I was doing everything right, but I really wasn't. And neither are you if you're still getting ghosted. Look, I've now helped over a thousand people bring in a data analytics, and I can now tell you exactly why some people get offers while others can't even get a phone screen. If this is your first time here, I'm Kanisha, and five years ago, I was working in a warehouse and delivering pizzas making about $8 an hour. And today I lead a community of over 60,000 aspiring and current data professionals. And I've helped thousands of other career changers break into data analytics without going back to school and wasting money on courses that just don't work. And if you ever wanna work with me one-on-one -on -one to land your first role in data in the next three to six months, click the link in the description where we can start working together. All right, now let's dive into brutal truth number one. You're learning the wrong skills in the wrong order. And I know you're thinking, but Kanisha, I have the certificates. I completed the Google certificate. I'm learning Python, machine learning, and 10 other skills at the same time. Stop right there. That's your exact problem. It's not about hoarding certificates like Pokemon cards or VFriends NFTs. It's about mastering the fundamentals before you chase the shiny advanced stuff. And most of you are doing this completely backwards. I see it all the time. People jumping straight into machine learning before they can even write a proper SQL join. Collecting certificates without building a single real project and starting with Python before they even know how to create a decent dashboard at Tableau or Power BI. Let me tell you something I learned the hard way. I've seen candidates land interviews at Fortune 500 companies simply by focusing on SQL and Tableau for 60 days. No machine learning, no deep learning, no fancy AI certification. Just SQL and Tableau done right. Because here's what hiring managers actually care about. Can you clean messy data? Can you write queries that don't break? And can you build dashboards that tell a story instead of just dumping charts on a screen? If you can't do those three things flawlessly, all those other certifications are just expensive wall decorations. And the people getting hired right now, they mastered Excel first, they became dangerous with SQL, they learned data storytelling and how to build slide deck presentations before they even think about Python. So here's my challenge for you. Before you take another course and before you chase another certificate, ask yourself this question. Can you take a messy data set, clean it up, analyze it, and present insights like a consultant or strategic partner in a slide deck and dashboard that would make a business owner say, we need to hire this person? If the answer is no, you know what you need to work on first. All right, quick pause. Now, if you want to land your first job in data analytics and avoid the lengthy mistakes that I did, click the link in the pinned comment where you can find the exact steps that my students use to land their job in data analytics without going back to school. All right, now let's get back to it. All right, now let's talk about brutal truth number two your personal brand is actively repelling recruiters. And when I say brand, I'm not talking about some fancy logo or color scheme. I'm talking about how you show up online, how your resume reads, and whether you look like someone worth interviewing. Recruiters spend about seven seconds scanning your resume before deciding if you're in or out. Seven seconds. That's barely enough time to read your name and job title. Branding is about standing out in a crowded market and most people don't take it seriously. In the words of Seth Godin, in a crowded marketplace, fitting in is a failure. In a busy marketplace, not standing out is the same as being invisible. So let me ask you this, what story does your LinkedIn profile tell in those first seven seconds? What about your resume? Because if it's not immediately obvious that you're a data professional who gets results, you're already out of the running. I see the same mistakes over and over again. LinkedIn profiles that look like they were abandoned back in 2019 and portfolios filled with junk dashboards. Resumes that scream student instead of analyst. And let me paint a picture for you. A few months ago, I posted about a data analyst opening and got over 300 responses. And you know what I noticed? 99% of the people reaching out to me had LinkedIn profiles that said absolutely nothing about data analysis. Nothing. Some didn't even have analysts in their headline. 
If I can't tell what you do at first glance, how do you expect a recruiter who's looking at hundreds of profiles to figure it out? Here's what the people who actually get hired do differently. They have LinkedIn headlines that immediately communicate their value. Their portfolio showcase real business problems that they solved, not just pretty charts. And their resumes tell a story of impact and not just lists of tasks that they completed. I had a student who was a teacher trying to break into data. Her original LinkedIn headline said, passionate educator seeking new opportunities, generic, vanilla, and boring, and very forgettable. So we changed it to data analysts, transforming educational data into student success. Within a few weeks, she had three recruiters in her inbox, same person, same skills, but different story. Your brand isn't a nice to have anymore. In this new job market, it is survival. And if yours isn't working for you, it's working against you. Here's the third and most important brutal truth. You don't believe in yourself enough to show up like a professional. And I can spot this a mile away. You downplay your experience. You call yourself entry level when you should be calling yourself an analyst. And you treat yourself like a student instead of a problem solver. So let me tell you something that might shock you. You already have value. Your job isn't to convince someone to take a chance on you. Your job is to communicate the value you already bring to the table. But here's what I see instead. People apologizing for their career change. People saying things like, I know I don't have experience but, or people positioning themselves as charity cases instead of solutions to business problems. Just stop right now. If you've ever worked with data, you build projects, analyze information, and can communicate insights, you're not entry level. You're an analyst who happens to be looking for their next opportunity. That's a massive difference in how those two things sound to a hiring manager. I had a student who came from trucking, actually driving trucks. And you know what she realized? She had been analyzing route efficiency, fuel costs, and delivery optimization for years. She wasn't trying to break into data. She was already doing the data work. She just needed to reframe it. Within 90 days, she landed a process analyst role, making more money than she ever made driving trucks. Not because she learned some new magical skill, but because she finally started showing up like the professional that she already was. Now, here's something that I need you to understand. Confidence is an arrogance. Confidence is showing your worth and communicating it clearly. And if you don't believe in your own value, why would anyone else? Look, I've given you the three brutal truths that separate people who get hired from those who stay stuck. But knowing the problem is only half the battle. The other half is actually doing something about it. If you're serious about fixing these issues and finally landing a data analyst role that you've been chasing, I want to help you. I've got a free training that breaks down the exact system that my students go through to go from overlooked to in demand in six months or less. No more guessing, no more wasted time on the wrong skills, and no more wondering why your applications disappear in the void. So click the link in the description. If you're ready to work with me directly to fast track your data career, we can talk about that too. Your data career is waiting. Now let's go make it happen.